All right, yo, what's good? Uh, we're gonna do a little rock through of the syllabus here for Cine 230 Remix Cultures. Um, you know, it's really good if you wanna watch this video and follow along with the actual PDF of the syllabus, which is um, in this module, it's the next uh, file. Um, so you should download that and just go through this. So, uh, you know, I like to set it off the syllabus with a few quotes from some great American douches. Uh, Benjamin Franklin and uh, Thomas Jefferson, who's actually a greater American douche, but you know, uh, they had some interesting ideas about ideas, let's, let's just say that, and I'll get more into that uh, later uh, in day one uh, in our first module. But I, I do like to quote DJ Spooky, aka Paul Miller, uh, where he says, you know, sampling is a new way of doing something that's been with us for a long time, right? The idea of you know, reusing ideas in some way. The mix breaks free from old associations, new contexts form from old, <clears throat> all right? The script gets flipped, the languages evolve and learn to speak in new forms, new thoughts. The sound of thought becomes legible again at the edge of new meanings. All right, but these are some of the ideas, you know, that we will be kind of working through this term. Um, you know, in the sort of abstract as well as, you know, in the more practical, legal sort of, sort of realm. So, um, so yeah, I actually didn't, probably didn't even introduce myself, but you watched the intro video. I'm Andre, the real Dr. Dre, because uh, I have a PhD, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I earned my title. Um, and, uh, or, or DJ Food Sandwich, which is my name. You're actually in my lab right now. This is crazy. When y'all watch videos, uh, video lectures, you'll see videos of me, <clears throat> de you know, in the barn. Um, and you can see these few screen grabs, you know, where I'm lecturing on top of what is, you know, now my studio, um, or in front of it, or or whatever. And you know, this is something that I built in fall of 2020, and it's still a work in progress. Behind me is just a makeshift uh, work area, but I'll have a custom workstation and. Where you're sitting or behind you will be a whole wall of records and just it'll be crazy dope once I actually really get all my stuff framed and get it all decorated and you know make it functional but uh, you know I can make beats in here cut it up and this is in my barn it's like you would you never think coming in here anyways um, you can see my office hours right at the top uh, host those you know in person uh, in night library 263 if you're you know in Eugene or you want to come in for actual physical office hours uh, as well as on Zoom, so be, you know, check me both ways. If you got questions or need clarification or, or anything like that. Uh, my email clearly listed. I also give you my cell phone number, uh, which you can use in, you know, emergency, you know, instances. Maybe you have a question while you're taking a quiz and need clarification. I'll do my best to get back to y'all, but, you know, um, if you text me at, like, late at night, you know what I'm saying? Um, with some dumb question or something, I'll, I'll answer it back at 5 a.m. when I get up. <laughs> so you know, just be cognizant of how you use that and really use that in like a, a, a you know, a stressful situation or, you know, you know, you need something on the spot. I may not be able to deliver, but I'll, I'll, I'll try. Um, I also, you know, uh, you, you can call me or whatever. Um, and you can also use that definitely during office hours. I'll be attentive to that. Um, I got my social media, DJ Food Stamp 33. That's for Instagram, for the you know the ill pictures. Twitter for basically linked to my Instagram and TikTok. I'm on TikTok, but yeah, you know I haven't really gotten gotten deep into the rabbit hole personally, uh, you know, creative creatively wise. But uh, you know I had to I had to DL that when uh, you know Overlord Trumpito was going to ban it. I just was like, man, this has to be like the illest shit. If, you know, it's gonna get banned, but. Um, anyways, so a couple things, uh, communication with me, basically I'm going to communicate with y'all using the announcements features on Canvas and announcements should actually, when I post an announcement, you should get an email that notifies you of that. But in the announcements tab on Canvas is where those emails will live. So, you know, um, you can always go back to, to those. I won't bombard you you know, but I will, I will holler at you a few times throughout the term and post, post announcements, but you want to just make sure that you go through the syllabus and read, you know, how to turn on your notifications so you're getting notifications and all that. If you got to email me though, um, through Canvas or using my email, just make sure you put Cine 230 in the subject header. I have a couple classes, so um, it helps clarify 
who's who and what's what and what class you're in. So definitely put that in the subject header followed by, you know, whatever, a question about final project or, or whatever. Oh, also, um, you know, uh, forgot to mention this. I put my SoundCloud up on here too, so you can check out some, some, some a few beats that I got up on there. Um, that's kind of that. You know, my office hours are clearly listed. They change, they change every term, but it's, it's really obvious. And, you know, the Zoom session, the Zoom links will be in Canvas, so you can rock with me there. Uh, obviously, you know, if you're watching this video, this is an online course. There's no synchronous element to it. It's a choose your own adventure, you know, um, you know, and you should choose the adventure to do kick ass in this class. Um, that's for real. Um, it's kind of up to you, you know, and, um, but basically, I expect you to do two modules per week. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, but you, sh you need to do two per week. Um, and there's assignments attached to each one, a quiz and a response uh, attached to each one. Okay. But, you know, here's the deal is like, listen, like I'm not going to be metaphorically folding your laundry or waking you up for class or making your mac and cheese, meaning like, it's up to you to do the work, to do the modules and to complete them and do the quizzes on time. Be mindful and on time for completion of all weekly assignments is Sunday by midnight, okay, the end of the week, you know, so whatever, week one, you have to have the week one things done by midnight, um, you know, the first Sunday or whatever, but it's, pr it's pretty obvious. The other thing that you need to know, mm, mm. <laughs> Okay, is that, um, you know, basically I recorded these lectures in spring of uh, 2020, you know, in pandemic crazy mania, okay? Um, and you can see that <laughs> through the videos where like there's videos of me, my beard's getting longer, um, you know, I'm getting, I get poison oak, all this stuff. It's quite, it's quite fun, uh, I guess. Um, uh, whatever. But the thing is, is in those lectures, there's a lot of time-based things, meaning like there's an exam next week or this is due then, or you need to do this. You know, just ignore the shit out of that. There's no tests in this class, you know, like just basically stick to the canvas. The curriculum though, in the lectures, all that stuff is money town. It's, it's good to go. Um, you know, it's just, it's just the dates of, or things about like, you need to do this or that. Just ignore that shit. That's from, you know, spring 2020. You don't need to deal with that, but the actual curriculum canvas stuff is good. The module, the, the lecture stuff is all, is all good. All that's up, up to date. Okay. So that's on point. Um, yeah, technical requirements, just basically know how you know how to use canvas. Know how, there's a support line for you. Be familiar with uploading videos. Um, there's a little, uh, assignment in the first module where you got to shoot a little video of yourself introducing yourselves, which, which is actually my favorite part of the whole class. Um, not really, but it's a very high, it's a highlight for me to see y'all in your your dorm rooms or you know parents' basements or you know whatever uh, whatever wherever y'all live at apartments in in town um, you know uh, sorority houses or whatever okay um, but yeah you need to have Wi-Fi and you need to have access to a computer like if you know really straight up definitely need access to a computer because you can't be taking these quizzes on your phone uh, more on that in a minute.